What's going on, Combat Sports fans? Welcome to Joe's Madness. If you're new to the channel or returning viewer and you haven't subscribed yet, punch that subscribe button into submission. I am a passionate combat sports fan. I love MMA and all things fighting. If you enjoy this video, make sure to take a moment and slap that like button like a pimp. And make sure to share the video with your family and friends and all over the internet if you want. And make sure to let us know down below in the comment section your thoughts and opinions. Negative or positive feedback is always welcome. So we have the co-main event for Cage Warriors 84. This is the fight results for Norman Parisi versus Kenneth Berg. And this was an awesome slugfest. These guys put on a awesome fight. I loved every moment of it. It went into the second round and at 2 minutes and 50 seconds left of the second round, Kenneth Berg ended up getting a sick, nasty, awesome guillotine choke onto Norman Parisi and he ends up winning via submission and he goes to 6-0. and oh. This guy was awesome. He took a lot of nasty strikes from Norman. Norman also ate a lot of punches from Berg. I thought Kenneth was going to knock out Norman quite a few times but Norman was able to hang tough with him. It was actually pretty crazy. Right before uh, Kenneth got that choke on Norman, Kenneth was actually in the reverse position. He was on his back up against the cage. He ate a knee from Norman, but then reversed it and put him on the bot, put him on the ground, just like the thumbnail shows. Uh, he got him with that nasty guillotine choke and submitted him, and it was over, and I am looking forward to seeing this guy fight again in the future. Uh, he is 6-0 and right now in the light heavyweight division. Now, if he does not get the next crack at the light heavyweight title at Cage Warriors, uh, you know, the UFC should definitely sign this guy. This guy is awesome awesome. Maybe he could be a fill-in for Il, uh, Il, the Sledgehammer Latifi uh, over at Oklahoma City because uh, we know Nog is out of the fight, so maybe this guy if cleared and everything and signed he could maybe fight Latifi at, uh, you know, that fight night in Oklahoma City would be awesome, or maybe he might fight at Rotterdam. Uh, you know, there's all kinds of different possibilities. Maybe he could fight it UFC 214. I don't know. This guy is just really awesome, and I thought he did an amazing job, and I really would like to see him if he wants to, if they offered it to him. I would like to see the UFC sign Kenneth Berg. This guy is a beast. He's a natural. He's awesome, in my opinion. Um, you know, it was just awesome. You got to check this guy out. You got to, you know, definitely uh, research him, look into him. I'm going to find out what his Twitter feed handle is, if he has one, and so forth, and see what's good with this guy, because it is awesome. This guy was lightning and thunder out there at Cage Warriors 84 when he won via guillotine choke. Uh, it was just, it was nasty. Um, it was awesome. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what this guy brings to the fight game next, as I really uh, am hoping that they sign him up. Kenneth Berg, why am I, his nickname is Y M I R Y Mer Y Mer? Interesting. I'm gonna have to see what that's all about. But uh, if you enjoyed this video and you thought it was awesome that he won by a guillotine choke in the second round over Norman Parisi at Cage Warriors 48, make sure to take a moment and slap that like button like a pimp. Share this video with your family and friends and all over the internet, and make sure to punch that subscribe button into submission. Thanks for watching. Combat Sports is awesome, and you guys are amazing.